Hey guys, I was clearing up some space today in my garage uh, when I found this, a little vial out of an old chemistry set. And this is some simple iron powder or some iron filings. Um, you can see when I put a magnet on there, it makes those nice uh, streaks. It is actually very, very fine. It's a very, very fine powder. And I thought what happens when you put this on a piece of wood and you engrave something onto the iron powder by using the K40 laser. I thought maybe we can try something like a, a coin or so and see what happens if we get a nice replica, if we just get a lump of uh, molten iron or if nothing happens at all. Um, and yes, by the way, this is a bacon themed band-aid. Um, I would say let's give this a try. Okay, so I brought a little more light in and uh, got me a little piece of plywood here. Put this here. And then we put the iron filings on here. And uh, I will try to make it a very thin layer by spreading it out with something flat. So I have my Nice used NASA thingy here. By the way, I'm a uh, licensed pyrotechnician, so I basically know what I'm doing here. Um, in general, it might be not a very good idea um, to put a very fine grounded metallic powder under a very hot laser source. As you may know, like aluminum filings, um, titanium filings, magnesium filings are used in uh, fireworks to make to make the sparks. Um, not particularly to make colors that are other chemicals, but with uh, some iron powder you can make some very nice orange sparks. Okay, so I'm flattening this out. About this. Uh, I should not compress it too much, I think I should leave it light, fluffy, powdery blob of iron powder here. Okay, so yeah, let's put this under our laser and try to engrave something like this. Okay, so for this I disconnected the uh, air assist hose to avoid the iron filings from being blown away. I will just tack this down with a piece of wire like this. Okay, now let's bring in our little piece of wood here. Okay. So I vectorized a photo here, um, it's not a beauty, but it will work for our purpose. It's just for seeing what's happening when you engrave, um, well, iron filings. Okay, so I put on my laser and I will give it a pass. I'm sure I will put on my laser goggles first. Okay. All right. So. I already aligned the laser and I will use the engraving mode. So I don't know if you can see something on the video. Um, I can't see anything with my naked eyes or with through my glasses. But uh, well, let's see what comes out. Maybe it will be a solid piece or maybe there will be nothing at all. We'll see. Okay, so we have we have finished our first uh, pass by engraving it. Um, I will try maybe when I take a little screwdriver here if it has hardened up anything. No, nothing at all. It's still a very fine powder. 
Um, okay, so what I will try, I will um, do the same thing, but using the cutting uh, option by using full power as well. What uh, makes the laser go way slower. So let's see what that does. I uh, put the speed on 15 millimeters per second, so quite slow, and I will give it another pass. Let's go. Well, at least it smells hot, so you know the smell of uh, hot iron. But uh, I don't know if anything is happening here. Okay, that was our second pass. Let's see if anything has molten together. Okay, nothing at all, apparently. Um, yeah, okay, so I suppose that this is not working, not at least with a 40 watt laser. Um, let's try uh, to make a simple circle and give it multiple passes just by cutting the same area over and over again. I will first uh, get a little preview about the size. Size should be okay. Put back on my laser tube and uh, go for it. So this is pass two now and I will, multi I will make 10 passes just to see if anything happens. Okay, so we have made 10 passes on the exact same spot, simple circle. Let's see if we have any result here. Okay, so apparently nothing at all happened. Um, I even tried um, if my laser is actually on, because you can't see anything at all um, reflecting from the iron powder but apparently it's just not powerful enough. So iron filings in a K40 laser makes nothing at all. So not worth trying it, unfortunately. Would be awesome <laughs> if it would work, but it just doesn't. So the K40 laser is way not powerful enough to um, penetrate or to melt down any kind of um, iron filings. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, uh, leave me a comment below, and I see you on the next video. Until then, see ya.